I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, into your homes, into your car, wherever you're watching this video from. Um, welcome to my channel. If you like it, you can hit, click the thumbs up. If you don't, you can click the thumbs down. You can subscribe. You can share. You can have com. You can write comments. You can interact with other subscribers, or you can do nothing at all apart from listen to the video. You're not under any obligation whatsoever. Anyway, I'm not going to say anything in this video. I might not be able to help myself actually, but I'm going to show you um, two videos. One. Not the whole of it, but you'll get the point. It's really, really important. So I'm going to keep stumm if I can and show you video one, which I think, well, you probably know about it already, but hey, just in case you don't, where have all the birds gone? Oh, that's the one, yeah. Please. Oh, that's the wrong one. Hold on one sec. I've got to do um, this bit. Buddy, right, well, as you'll see, this is the equipment that's been fitted uh, by councils across the country. This is shared us. Uh, we've had a whistleblower send us the information, and obviously we've got a box delivered by a whistleblower at one of the councils, all right? Because obviously the... People are very concerned in the lighting department about what this equipment is and, the, and I've been asked to actually review it because this is a weapon system, all right? It's nothing more than a weapon. Now, I know it's masquerading as a light, but it's a weapon, all right? So let's just show you. Let's just break this whole thing down and show people what this is, all right? I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to take this piece, this antenna piece, the pieces. All right, people have seen it before. They've seen the breakdown. All right, let's just unloosen this piece here. All right, let's just break this down and let's show people what this is. All right, this is the Harvard piece of technology. Oh, see, that's the antenna. That's a scanner, it's a radar. It's a radar piece of equipment. You can see that. This has got the 450 volt capacitor on it. And you see the cabling. It's really important to see that cabling. This is the delivery system, all right? This is an extremely dangerous piece of hardware. This is a single element and that 31,875. A lot of people making complaints to the council now and making complaints whether I've been lied to on a regular basis about this technology. So, councils are lying about what this is. Let's just show people this is not a dipole antenna. Look, it's a high gain dielectric lens antenna. All right. It's in a little bit better shape than the other one that we've shown the video on, but that is an illegal piece of equipment. It's not a Part 15 FCC approved piece of equipment. This can target acquire. It's real. That's a scanner. All right, it's a scanning antenna. They are illegal. Anybody thinks that councils have the right to scan into your home or mistaken? That's an offence in law. All right, let's just pop that back because people have seen that breakdown before and they've also seen this breakdown before. What's really important is to have a look at this bit of hardware. Now, this box. It's actually been made so you can't get into it, all right? It's a sealed unit, which has had to be taken to pieces. Obviously, we've got to be careful with this because it's got to get sent back because it's got to go back in the stores. What I'm going to show people, this is the hardware. This is the delivery system. This is coming from these units here. This is the delivery system to the weapon, all right? That's the delivery system, the weapon. This is the cabling, as I've had a couple of foolish people, absolute ignorance. That's the cabling of the LED streetlights, as you'll see, they're very thin. They're not that thin because they don't carry a great deal of power, and they won't burn out. However, this piece of cabling is pretty powerful stuff. 
And it has to be because you've got a 450 volt capacitor in this bit, but you've also got a number of 450 volt capacitors on the board. These are not for the LEDs. This is the LED delivery system here. All right? There's transformers on here to reduce the power going to these small cables which fit into this for the LEDs. All right? You do not need this type of capacity. Only a fool, only a very, very ignorant fool would even pretend that this is some type of ballast. All right? These are LEDs for the ignorance. This isn't the fluorescent lamp needing ballast to put a lot of energy in. We all know that LEDs operate on very, very small amounts of energy. So they do not need. So this is a step down to these small cables. However, this is a step up to this delivery system. Because obviously if you're going to use a weapon, it needs to have a bit of pull. It needs to have a bit of power about it. All right? So that fits to there. This then goes to this, and obviously, that's the 450 volt capacitor, alright? You've seen it in the closer breakdowns before, and this is the weapons delivery system, alright? That's the high gain antenna, illegal high gain antenna. A number of people have contacted Northumbria Police about the genocide that's been committed on the people in Gateshead as we speak. Lots of people, so we've been progressing that. Because I was called by Northumbria Police about this. And obviously, I'm still waiting for a senior investigating officer to contact me about this weaponry and how outrageous this is. Anyway, I'm going to stop it there and then just show you what the, the lights actually do. Just take it for a little walk. This is very important. You have to get on. Right. Right. I'll post this video up right. so people can get on it and right. show sure. right. more birds, right, one year, all the small spotters dead, right, the only thing we'll have, see, right. a few magpies left, see the magpies, the tree, two of them, two maggies there, right, look, small birds, a few starlets, she's come up from North Africa, she's going to be mistaken if you see starlets. This is the outrageous experimental test 5G system, I did it come so there's no one on the top of the lake there, look. A single bird, and why would that be? Radiation off these masts, lethal, lethal to small flying insects, lethal to small children, small bodied animals, birds. Kids, it comes to think it has no more detrimental effect on small bodied animals, flying birds. Believe you me. Their science is incorrect, right? People are gated. I've noticed, are you posting this video up? No, no small birds, no small parrots. Look, look, none. Where's all the birds gone? Can people start asking gated council. I just had to share with it, that with you because it is important. I felt it was important. I haven't got much to say because I am not a technological expert, but we've heard a lot of rumours about 5G. This gentleman, he seems to be quite knowledgeable, and that's going on in Gateshead. So, where have all the birds gone? And the funny thing was, well, not even the funny thing, the other day I was... Um, in a certain area, um, it wasn't. It was like a. It was like a mall type area, but I noted stacks and stacks of birds. It's like, it was like, I wouldn't even. 
I'd say about 100 to 150 birds. It was quite scary. I don't know how many of you saw Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. That was scary. That was what it was like. It might have been more than 150. But it was like all of a sudden they'd all grouped together and they were going somewhere. It was most bizarre. But when I saw this, I thought, I wonder if the 5G poles are up there or something. And I mean, he's saying they're all dead, but maybe they've just it just shifts them away. Maybe they pick up on it. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Okay then, bye-bye.